Hey there, welcome to my basement studio. Um, I do all my crafting down here. It's um, a bit of a hoarding uh, area. It's not a pretty site, but uh, it's uh, a space that I can use. And uh, it's, a, it's a space where I keep all my crafts and do all my artwork and stuff like that. So uh, this video is um, cat mugs and I'm going to do these cat mugs. Sure, if you can see it, but this one here is the one that we're going to do. Um, it's basically with a dollar store mug and um, enamel paints. So, I, I used an assortment of enamel paints. So, I've used white, black, uh, some orange, uh, doesn't matter what orange. I did use a yellow, and what else did I use? I think I used a little bit of uh, black as well. Um, so the first thing that you have to do is obviously clean the glass. Um, so when it, before you paint anything, um, glass, uh, wine glasses or anything like that, you want to clean it with some rubbing alcohol. Um, so make sure you do that. Uh, once you're done painting, you're happy with your, your mug. I have to center that. <laughs> uh, once you're done it, um, you put it in the oven for, th um, in a cold oven uh, for 350 degrees um, and you let it uh, bake for about, um, I do about 35 minutes and then I turn the oven off and I um, let it cool down on its own and then it will be top rack efficient in a dishwasher. It'll bake and cure your paint. Um, you can tell your customers when they, they buy your mugs that it is, it is top rack. Um, there's no vinyl on it, so it's just a paint baked right on. Um, it will eventually fade if you use it in the dishwasher. Hand washing is preferred. So this little guy has also a tail on the back. So a uh, little fun. And then this is another one I did. I used um, blues and purples. I haven't got the tail on the back yet. Uh, his head was a little big, but I kind of like it. So let's just get started with the video. doing the outlining with the white um, to just to give me an idea where I'm going to put his head and his ears and his little nose and pretty much do an under a whole underpainting in white um, just a little dash paint uh, brush strokes uh, kind of giving the illusion that it's still the cat's fur um, it doesn't have to be perfect at this point because basically it really is just an under underpainting and you're going to see some of the white come through once you start building up uh, the, uh, the, the cat with the uh, other colors that you're using. Thank you. 
Okay, so now you see me adding a second layer of uh, build up here of colors, and I'm using the orange and yellow. Um, I guess it's supposed to resemble a tabby cat a little bit, so I'm just kind of using my own judgment on where I'm placing the or orange and yellow. I'm just going around the edging. I know the tummy and his face is going to end up being more white, so I want to see some of the orange and yellow and eventually some red um, on top of that as well. So as we keep going, you'll start seeing the buildup and um, the little strokes that I'm making. Um, just judging it as I'm looking at it. At it. Um, I guess my only source is uh, going on the internet and looking at cats and how the hair um, is growing in direction. So I do kind of play with that a little bit as well. It's supposed to be a little bit more animated than realistic, but um, and cute. Uh, I hope you're uh, following along okay with this. If you have any questions, just uh, please message me, and I'd be more than happy to share some information. just did some more detailing around the eyes uh, adding more yellow and black uh, just to give it more uh, detail before I go into almost my final coat so I have about four layers of paint on this right now and I'm actually working 
the white on top and I'm kind of just giving it a very light blend um, and trying to make it look more like hair and giving it more of a detail of the direction of the hair. Uh, this is where you're going to find that the cat will start to look more like a cat as you uh, add the whites and going around the nose and whiskers and so forth. Um, just continue watching and you'll see it kind of come to life. looking at it and I'm pretty much almost there. I'm going to just do the detailing now um, using some black. So uh, black and some other colors like if I want to pop some of the orange and red I might throw a few more um, strokes of those around the edges just so it pops and around his little eyes giving him some more yellow. Uh, so we're going to use black to uh, detail his nose and put his whiskers in. And once I'm pretty happy with how the details look, uh, maybe I want a little bit more. Here I, I see I want a little bit more uh, detail in the ears to show maybe a few more light strokes. When I'm doing the detailing, try to use more of a not so wet brush or else it'll start to drip. Uh, it's better dry. Nothing's cuter than having a little tail on the opposite side of the mug. I, I'm just using various the colors that I used at the front of the cat and just uh, dabbing a tail in. It's uh, quite simple as that. Uh, you can, I'm going to put a little curl at the end as well.
Thank you.